Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly and today we are putting to the test the new Natasha Denona Midi Rocks the Palette. This is a very, very purple palette, so let's see how she performs, shall we? You know I've done in-depth swatches for you guys as well, so if that all sounds interesting to you, go ahead and do the youtube -y things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. Quickly, before we get into the swatches and the eye look, just the quick details. So. Pretty standard if you've seen any of Natasha Denona's midi palettes before. So this one is called the Roxa and it's kind of like this wavy kind of packaging, which is actually very, very nice. Uh, I have just realized, you'll see mine untouched in a second. I have already done my swatches. Mine seems to be in a different shade order to what is on the website. So I don't know if the website's incorrect or mine just came in a different shade order. The, the shade names are all correctly matched too. So it's weird. I don't know. But this one does boast a new formula, which is why I picked it up because I'll be honest with you, I'm not a massive purple eyeshadow fan, but this one has a new silky matte formula and I'm a sucker for trying new formulas so I had to pick it up. It also has her other most recent new formulas like the sparkling foiled and the sparkling uh, wet foiled shadows and stuff in here as well but the silky mattes is the newest formula and I will be interested to see how they perform because I didn't realize that every single one of these mattes are the new silky matte formula and it surprises me just because some of these feel like a silky matte and then this one for example like jacaranda and i think you can even tell in the swatch it feels very very dry and like just a normal matte so i don't know it's it's definitely a different feeling and texture to the other mattes in the palette so i'll be interested to see how they perform what we're going to do now is swipe into in-depth swatches so i've done the full arm and then like the individual ones and then we are going to zoom in and create a look together so let's do it Thank you. 
You guys are zoomed in and nice and close 4K, no filters. Also, I didn't say before that everything I use on my face today, including the palette, will be linked in the description box down below. Uh, they are affiliate links though, so if you shop through them, thank you so much. So I'm gonna prime my lids with my NARS eye primer. I'm really interested to see how this palette performs, like really interested. I know purples are notoriously hard to formulate. Also, I'd be interested to see how many of you guys have already picked this palette up or if you're going to. Uh, like I said, I actually was going to skip this one. I'm just not a massive purple eyeshadow person, but I did want to try that new formula. I'm going to start with my Smith Cosmetics 237 blending brush, and I'm going to go into Phoebe first, which is this one right here. I normally would do a three looks at least with this kind of a review, just so you guys could see the versatility, but I wanted to at least get the initial review of this palette up and the swatches up for you guys before the Sephora sale, for those of you that are going into the Sephora sale. So I can only have time right now. I'm just uh, buffing this through as my transition shade in the crease, by the way. I only have time right now to get just one look done the swatches so I figured I'd do that so that you guys could have the swatches and then let me know in the comments if you want to see a three looks with this one or if you just want to see me incorporate it into like say a get ready with me or something like that let me know I'll take your guys's direction that's pretty I like the way this shape forms this was like one of my favorite mattes in here it's kind of, it's just a nice, really, I don't have anything like this as a matte shade. Like a very soft, almost bone colored purple. It performs lovely. I think this palette was quite mixed for a lot of people. It seemed like they were either like yes or no. Um, I think you're either a purple person or you're not to be fair. I don't know why there's certain tones of purples I like and then certain tones that I really just don't vibe with, but that's like everyone, right? We all have different preferences. So, and I think this is her first like proper purple palette, right? Because I know she had the Love palette. This one probably reminds me similar to the Love palette in ways, but it's still different. Like this is kind of straight purplish. Hmm, that performs very lovely. Next up, I'm going to take this Wayne Goss E3 and I'll go into this one right here, which is called Velour. My mattes might look hard panned. It's not the quality like they it comes straight away on a hard pen when I put the brush in it's just because of the, the swatching let's deepen our crease very purple and then I'm just grabbing that Smith Cosmetics brush with a little bit of Phoebe that first shade and just buffing a little bit here again these mattes are performing really lovely so far um, I don't know if I see so far though any difference between like how these mattes are performing and her other mattes, but they are performing lovely. Just a little bit of Phoebe with that Smith Cosmetics. Okay, now I'm just taking a rough of 14. I'm just gonna go into a small amount of Jacaranda first. This is the kind of purple I don't love, okay? I'll be honest, but it's swatched so poorly. I just actually wanna see how it performs on the lid. Which I know swatches, I'm just gonna use this to, oh yeah, okay. It actually is quite pigmented. I know swatches aren't um, a true indication of performance, but it just feels like such a dry, it is a little bit patchy actually, look at that. So again, just that Smith Cosmetics, I haven't got any color on this one. Just using feather soft touches. Mm, yeah, it is a little bit patchy. It's definitely not the best quality matte I've tried from Natasha. I don't know, does others, if you have this, does yours Jacaranda feel super, super dry? And was it really patchy to blend? Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly love that Jacaranda shade. Now I'm just actually taking a Ruffa Shoto 00 and I'm gonna go into a really small amount of Eclipse right here. And again, just kind of use this to just deepen softly through here. Create a little bit of definition. I'm actually just going to take this functional uh, one brush, I think, from 
Sonia G. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of Velour here. This one, that's the second matte shade we went into. And I'll just softly blend that there. Eclipse is definitely a lot more pigmented than Jacaranda, so be careful with it. I'm going to start small and build for sure. That's pretty though. I like that a lot more than Jacaranda. This size is always so much easier to do because it's like a different shape. Like normal for a review, we will do no intensifiers from Pat on this side, but we will put some on this side. And I really, really want to try this Bolt shade. So we're going to take that first with the Sonia G Builder Pro. I like the little marbled effect. I'm into it. And this has no intensifiers on this side. And I'll just press that into pretty much just the center of the lid. I mean, that's pretty. I might just actually try that with my... Yeah. If you want more intensity, use your finger. If you want it to be softer, use a brush. Oh, that is pretty though. Look at those sparkles. That's pretty. All right, and then I will try the brush again first on the Pat McGrath Labs Intensify side. Definitely more intense, but still, if you want more intensity, use your finger. Which I like because it means that you can tailor it, but it's up to you. Oh, that's, oh, that's a pretty shade, actually. I like that. I can see myself actually getting more use out of this palette by in using it in conjunction with, say, like a more neutral palette, like I Need a Nude or something. I'm just going to switch to this What's Up Beauty R110, and I really, really, really want to try Dixie right here because this is my favorite metallic in the palette. So we'll try with the brush first. Mm, I don't think... It's, I think this is the kind of shade that needs to be used with a finger, actually. So this is Dixie with no intensifiers on this side. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's pretty. Wow. That is very... I like that shade. That's gorgeous. Can you see the sh I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera, the shift of that shade. Oh, that is stunning. I'm just going to tap that slightly over that other shade too. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's stunning. I really like this Dixie shade. That is so pretty. Just taking that Shoto brush with the clips again, the darkest matte we use, and I'll just lightly marry out here. Hmm. Pretty. If you were looking at this and going, that's pretty, but it's too colorful, this is again where I would like mix it with a more like brown colored palette, say, or even like Glam from Natasha Denona or, you know, just any kind of neutral shades that you like in your collection. And then it will look not as like colorful, right? So the world's your oyster there. We are going to leave the eyes here. I think they look very pretty. I really, really do. So we'll leave them here for now. I'm going to do the speed through on my base makeup up until brows and bronzer, and then we'll come back and finish the lower lash line, and I'll do highlight, blush, and lips with you guys. So let's do it.
All right, we have up and seal brows and bronzer done. Let's finish this lower lash line. So I'm gonna take my Sigma E36 and just go into this one right here, which is called Velua. And then I just have a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this one, which is called Eclipse. I'll just dip in slightly. And then for the inner corner, I am going to go into a little bit of this one with a Sonia G pencil brush. And this one's called Stargirl. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm, I like that shade. That's pretty. Reminds me of the white pink shade in the Danessa Myricks Freedom palette. I'm going to take Victoria Beckham Fig for my top waterline. And then I'm just going to take this Patrick Ta uh, Precision Gel Liner in Cream for my lower waterline. I just picked up a heap of Patrick Ta stuff to test out for a full face review. And uh, today's my first day trying it all. And then I also have his mascara. So let's try this. This is my first time using it. I have never tried this or really heard anyone's thoughts on it, actually. That's actually pretty decent straight off the bat. Right. I don't actually think you saw me finishing put that mascara on because I accidentally stabbed myself in the eye with the wand. So here we are. I needed to take a breather for my eyes to stop watering. For liquid highlight, I'm gonna take Lisa Eldridge Pink Moon. I just pick it up with my sponge. My new Lisa lipsticks should arrive any day now too, which is exciting. I picked up her newest release, Naturally. And I'm just going to set that with a little bit of Nars Capri. This is just a Danessa Myricks My Kitco Fan Brush. For a liquid blush, I'm going to take a little bit of Encourage from Rare Beauty. Because it's kind of like this nice mauvey purple. And again, I just picked this up with my sponge. And just lightly... And then I'm just going to set that with a little bit of this Chanel blush. Uh, I don't actually, it doesn't have a name, but it's also not for sale anymore. It was like a limited edition from last year. Just with my Smashbox cheek brush. I've just got my Lisa Aldridge setting spray. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my Christian Louboutin powder foundation and just... Reset through the T-zone. Also, I got a little bit of mascara here. It's a mess. That wasn't the mascara's fault. It, it was mine. I wasn't paying enough attention. For lips, I just got in the Patrick Ta Lip Crayon in Oyushi Single. So I really want to try this. It's like a clicky one. So let's give this a go. I have never tried his lip liners. It's going to be a little bit warm for the shade that I'm going to use for lipstick, but that's okay. These are an odd angle to like line your lips with. Okay, this is not a great shade match, but we're just going to roll with it because I'm then going to use my Natasha Denona My Dream lipstick. And then this is just the Patrick Tar Gloss in She's Expensive. Let me go and do hair and we will zoom out and I will give you my final thoughts. All right, my friends, this is the finished and final look. What do you guys think? Look, I think this is very pretty. I really, really do. Um, overall, my thoughts on this particular palette, uh, it's nice. Is this something that I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, like, woo for? No, I'm not. However, caveat. Like I said already, purple eyeshadow, it's just not massively my vibe. So I'm already coming into this with that sentiment. You know what I mean? In terms of the metallics in here, I actually really, really like them. The two that I've got on my eyes right now are very, very pretty. From swatching the others, they're very, very pretty as well. Uh, some of these mattes feel very lovely. It's actually, to be fair, 
I just don't like this Jacquemus random matte. It feels so dry and it performed patchy, but I really liked how the rest of the mattes performed that I tried. And these ones swatch really lovely, so I'm intrigued to try them. Overall though, unless you are a massive, massive purple eyeshadow lover, I don't necessarily think this is like a must have. And I think that, I don't know, don't get me wrong, I understand that this is a purple eyeshadow palette. It's a monochromatic eyeshadow palette. I do get that. But it is very, very similar. Like, I feel like even these two shadows on the lids, like, there's difference between them, but not that big of a difference. Uh, I don't know. This is just not... I don't know what it is, but, like, and purple aside, like, there's a couple of shades in here that I'm like, yeah, they're good. Like, this one, this one, this one, this one's really pretty. Like, they're, they're pretty, but just, I don't know, this palette hasn't... It hasn't wowed me, but more so because of the color story, I think. It's just, it's very, very, you're going to get quite a lot of similar looks with this palette. But, but maybe that is exactly what you want because maybe you love purple eyeshadow or maybe you want this as a complement to your collection to like mix and match with other palettes, right? Like I will get a lot more use out of this mixing and matching it with other palettes, like I've already said. So yeah, quality is very pretty and lovely, except for this one shade in my personal opinion. Also, just keep in mind, that's totally just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, yeah, it's a nice quality palette. It's that kind of Natasha Denona um, midi formula that you kind of know and love. But I think it's going to really come down to if, if this is your color story or not. So, yeah. Let me know as well in the comments, like, if you want to see the three looks or if you just want me to incorporate it into, like, another get ready with me type video and show you another look. Um, I'll kind of take your guys' leads in the comment with that one. And in, let me know, like, are you going to pick it up? What are you thinking? Have you already picked it up? What are you vibing? Let me know. If you're watching till this point, you know you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. And an extra special shout out to my Lily Absolute Legends and all of my channel members here. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.